Queen Victoria is one of history's most famous monarchs, but her storied reign, which lasted over 60 years, nearly came to a deadly end a shocking eight times. While on the throne from 1837 to 1901, the British monarch survived eight assassination attempts. Here's a look back at those attempts on her life. The Victorian era actually got off to a rocky start, as the Queen was nearly killed in 1840, after just three years on the throne. From close range, a gunman fired at her twice, but missed both times. Fortunately, the Queen was unharmed. The shooter, Edward Oxford, was found not guilty by reason of insanity. He spent decades in an asylum and was later banished to Australia. Attempts 2 and 3 were both made by John Francis in 1842. On the first try, his gun didn't fire and he fled. He then fired another shot the next day but missed his mark. He spent the rest of his life in prison. Just five weeks later, another man unsuccessfully fired a shot at the young queen. The fourth attempt on her life in under four years, she again emerged unharmed. Then in 1849, a disgruntled, unemployed man shot at the queen's carriage outside the palace. He claimed to have wanted to be imprisoned as he couldn't find work. But the attacks on Queen Victoria got stranger yet. A year later, a sixth man named Robert Pate left the Queen with a black eye when he ambushed her carriage and bashed her head with his cane. Ouch! Over 20 years passed before another attack on the Queen. It was in 1872 when a gun-wielding Irishman charged her carriage. The moment caused a panic, but the young man said his gun was unloaded and he wanted the Queen to free Irish prisoners. But the Queen wasn't out of the woods yet. In 1882, a final shot was fired at her carriage in Windsor, but again missed. The man, like several of the others, was found not guilty by reason of insanity. With each assassination attempt, the Queen's popularity grew. She usually carried on with her duties the same day, and in one case, even prevented a death sentence for one of the attackers. Though one man had a political motive for his attack, most of the failed assassins were deemed mentally unwell when they stood trial. The monarch herself lived to be 81. She died in 1901, not by an assassin's hand, but after several years of poor health.